Well, I've been doing quite a lot of decorating, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> in the cottage because it's been raining outside. So the reason why I have the wash stand here in the kitchen, uh, there's a little jug and bowl that goes with it, is because I've been repainting it or repainting the top. This has happened because I decided, because the bathroom floor was very, very scruffy and I'd scrubbed it and everything that still looked scruffy, I decided to give it a coat of floor paint. So <clears throat> I'll show you. Okay, so this is the floor paint, um, obviously in the shade of green. I do have a, a tin in the shade of red as well, but I thought the green would go nice. Now I've been touching up the paintwork along here and I, let me see if I can just step in a little bit. Um, the paintwork down there and I've taken off the little um, towel rail because when I put the uh, the wash down back, it's going to go over there against that wall. Yeah, so it's a bit like the fourth bridge. One thing leads to another. So no doubt when I finish this, I'll start another bit of painting somewhere else. Well, now is the time to do it, isn't it? Anyway, welcome to this video. And I'll be showing you the finished and now being sort of rustic up a bit um pagoda and uh, also masses and masses of frog spawn in the pond yeah crazy welcome to be out in a cottage now i hope you forgive my kind of a stuffy nose thingy going on but i still have um a little bit of a head cold and uh yeah so the pergoda. It's almost finished. I say almost because it's going to take me probably quite a few weeks just to rustic it up a bit. <laughs> it's a way of putting my mark on it and um, making it more interesting and making it more user friendly. So you can see now how it's looking. I've got, I was going to get six pieces of trellis. I got four. And um, this is the table that my daughter got for me from a friend. And I'm just trying out various, various um, <clears throat> kind of styles inside. Um, yeah, it's quite a big table. It's got an extension bit in the middle. So I'm happy to have it parked at one side of the pagoda and then when there's going to be a family meal, pull it out into the middle. Now, I can't actually afford to go as far as getting all the paving slabs and the sand because that was just going to kind of ramp up the, the bill, which is not hanging over my head anyway. So um, I did have to order two tonne of gravel. And the gravel is being delivered, hopefully, mm, mm, could be today, but I don't think so. Probably tomorrow or Wednesday. And I'm going to put gravel inside the pergoda. Give it a try, see how it goes. So this is what's left of the, uh, I was going to say of the rustic bed, but I'll show you that in a moment. All the daffodils are out. Well, this is the Narcissi. The Narcissi come out a wee bit earlier than the actual traditional tall daffs. And I've been playing about with plants and pots. So um, I'm going to be moving this rhododendron over near the trellis. I'm just trying to kind of get a perspective on it from all angles. Because how it looks in the garden, of course, is quite important. So, down to the, down to the pond. Now, <clears throat> if you listen carefully, you can hear the frogs croaking, so I'm going to be quiet.
Now at the moment there looks to be about 50 or 60 frogs in here. Um, they all dive down deep when I come anywhere near the pond. But anywhere where you see rippling, that's basically where the frogs have gone. And they're all mating, furiously mating, <laughs> as only frogs can do. The females look rather um, bedraggled at the moment. <laughs> I think it's a tough time for the poor old females. There's quite a lot of them actually drown. Um, and I think I've seen one further up the pond earlier on, just lying at the bottom. But such is nature, that's the way it goes. And um, I'm very thankful that there are frogs. And you know what they say, build it and they will come. And that's what's happened. As I was walking through the gardens, and this is the lower garden, which was, of course, the bog garden at one point. It's no longer boggy. Um, one of the things that so few of us do, and even I forget at times, is to look up. Because sometimes the very first signs of spring, in terms of uh, flowers, happen right at the top of trees. Now, this particular... Um, Beautiful willow catkin is actually from the Salix purpurea, which is also known as the black willow. And the sunlight at the moment is just amazing because, of course, each day the sun rises a little bit higher in the sky. I love to see that. These are the beautiful Scots pines down in the corner of the land. And the dogwoods, I mean, I cut them all back last year and they're all just springing out. This is, um, I forget the name of this beautiful willow, but this is a kind of layered willow. And the catkins come out and they're usually a beautiful shade of pink. So give it another few days and these will pink up nicely. And also just to look at the beautiful dead heads of what was last year. Those lovely skeletal shapes. And, of course, this is the sorrel. The sorrel is one of the first herbs to emerge. That with the lemon balm. They seem to have acclimatised really quickly. And um, they will come up. And, of course, you can add the sorrel to salads. You can also make wonderful soup using the sorrel. This is one of the little oak trees down near the fairy wood holding on to its leaves. They will be pushed off, literally by the emerging buds. But for the moment, when the sunlight catches them, it's beautiful. Ethereal. Quite enchanting. And this is Danu by the well. I love visiting this part of the fairy wood. It's magical. It truly is magical. I mean, even the way that I divined for water and found it here in the fairy wood takes some explaining. Can't explain it, really. So therefore, it's magic. Danu being the Mother goddess of all the gods here in Ireland. It's interesting, you know, when you talk about the pantheon of gods. Here in Ireland, we've got quite a few pantheons, but Danu um, is looked upon as the mother goddess. And uh, that sets us apart from so many other cultures and civilizations that the mother is the prime creatrix. Walking back to the cottage through the apple orchards, you know, this is a walk I do every day. I, I walk all the way around the three acres and I look and I just feel so blessed, just absorbing the energy, absorbing the sounds, absorbing 
the colours, the buds, the birds, the creatures, the animals. And everything that I absorb feeds into my energy. Now, I said I'd mention a little bit about the, the rustic beds. <coughs> Sorry, the, um, the potager beds. Well, I've ordered two tonne of gravel, which is going to be spread all the way around the back here. So that's going to give it a lovely, sort of a Mediterranean look. Because the gravel is light gold. That's the actual colour of it. So that will sort of catch the sun and absorb that beautiful light. Oh, I just love this rhododendron. That's a piece of bog oak underneath it. Talking of bog oak, there are some more bog oak pendants that I've made. I haven't made a lot, so when they're gone, they're gone. Do a little bit every day of something. I love looking at the, the colour that I mix with the cottage. I mean, people ask me, what colour is that? Well, those of you who followed the progress of doing this last year will know the colour I started with is not the colour that's on the walls because I found it too bright and I mixed it down. But anyway, that's it from Bealtaine Cottage. Blessings to you all. Have a wonderful week and enjoy the spring. It's beautiful. You can find my books on my website, bealtaine.com. A Cottage in Three Acres, In Search of the Goddess Rising, and Walk in Between Worlds, as well as the Bealtaine Cottage Guide to the Deep Midwinter, and the calendar. The calendar is on special offer now. You can also get the map with it for free. So the links are all underneath this video in the description box. But the Bealtaine Cottage website is filled with photographs and hundreds of blogs with no advertising. So do have a look over there and a good peruse. I think you'll find it's very interesting. A little view of Bealtaine Cottage when I first bought the cottage. And this was the land looking up from the road and the land looking down from the cottage. Blessings to you all.